Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beta Flight Series. Today, we're going to discuss how to identify your flight controller's firmware target. What do you say we get started? Okay, so this is a topic that gets its own video. And we've talked about this a little bit in the past, how to go into the CLI and enter the version command and see all the yada yada. We'll get a little bit more into that. But this is important. This is a step that if you make a mistake and you flash the wrong firmware target to your board, you can have major problems. Not only can the flight controller not function properly, but it can also create other issues trying to reflash the board. Now, ultimately, it's software and it can be fixed, but it can be difficult to fix. And these videos are to hopefully help you avoid some of that frustration. So let's get over to the computer and look at how to identify your flight controller's target. Connect your board up and then make sure you get yourself connected in Betaflight. You should be a pro at this by now. Uh, so now that my board's connected up, again, we're going to go to our buddy here, the CLI tab. And this command is pretty easy. We're just simply going to type in version. Remember this one? We've talked about this a whole bunch of times in the past. This is something that you should be relatively familiar with. Um, and what I get back is just this single line. And there's a few things in here that can be very important. One of which is it's always going to show you what version of Betaflight you currently have installed on that board. So the example is this particular Omnibus board has Betaflight version 3.3.3 .3, and that can be helpful depending on your configurator version or other CLI commands. Uh, it's good to know and this is an easy place to figure this out. But that's not really why we're here today. What we want to look at is the beginning of this line right after the Betaflight tag here. This is going to tell you what target your flight controller needs when you're installing your Betaflight firmware. And in this case, this is a standard Omnibus board, and it's also important to pay attention to the spelling here. You could export this, save it to file, uh, to keep it as a reference, write this down, make a note, but this is really what's important, and this is going to tell you what Betaflight target version ultimately ends up going into the flight controller and this is what I'm putting emphasis on here and I have a couple other examples that I want to show you as well so we can see a little bit of difference with this so this is a standard omnibus this is exactly what I would expect to find um, and again right after my beta flight tag this is the flight controller target all right I'm gonna bounce out of this one and let's hook up another flight controller okay I have now connected an SP Racing F3 flight controller and look at here, our version of Betaflight is different. This one is running 317, or other one was on 333. So, you know, here's something that's worth noting, and again, this can be helpful. But look at this here, after our Betaflight tag, we can see here that this is a completely different flight controller, and it's using a very different target than the Omnibus board that we had in there. This is an original uh, SP Racing F3 board, and if we look at the target and the spelling here, this is going to tell us our firmware target for this board. Again, I'm trying to put a lot of emphasis on this because this little bit of information right here is very, very important and you need to be 100% positive when you're flashing the firmware to the board. And in the next video, you're going to see why this is really this important. Um, again, because we don't want to have issues with the operation of the board or you know, flashing software in the future. This is this is why this gets its own video, so I can put enough emphasis on the importance of being positive of what your flight controller target actually is. So anyway, here's another board, SB Racing, awesome. Let's plug in another one. Okay, this is my Mr. Steve quad, and I'm plugging this in to show you something that is going to be very different than what we're looking at so far. Coming into this, we knew what the flight controllers were. I mean, I bought them personally, I was on the website, I saw the brand, I know where they came from, I know what those flight controllers are. So it makes it a little bit easier to identify them. 
Well, this one's a little bit different because in this quad, I have the um, the DYS uh, F4 board, which is an awesome flying board, by the way. Um, but well, let's go to the CLI and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the 350 here is because this quad is running Butterflight. Um, you can still do CLI functionality if you're running alternate firmwares, blah, we're not getting into that. That's not important right now, so the pretend you didn't see this. Um, but, you know, let's take a look right here. Well, this is Omnibus F4, but the flight controller is a DYS. This math doesn't add up. It's actually because a lot of manufacturers will use the same Betaflight targets for a lot of different reasons, one of which is to make things easier so they don't have to write a target specifically for that flight controller. And you'll see some unique flight controllers that are going to have to have their own targets. Uh, some that come to mind are like the Helio Spring because that has two processors in it. Um, the newbie drone, uh, B brain, as far as the micro flight controllers go, that's very different. So that one has its own specific target. Um, but again, the reason why I plugged this quad in is because I wanted to show you that while different flight controllers can share the same firmware target. Um, and again, this is what's important is recognizing this line here as being your flight controller. This is the beta flight software, the version we need to get in there. That's what I got for you guys today. Uh, in a nutshell, really just that one single command in the CLI uh, is going to give you some very useful information. Uh, it helps us identify our flight controller, uh, specifically the firmware target, which is actually probably more important at this stage than knowing the actual flight controller itself. Uh, it also shows us our current running version of software. Uh, and there's a few other minor details in there that well, we really didn't get into them because we didn't need to. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>